If I had to give pick one thing, one magic bullet to tell you know all providers is that the most powerful thing you can do is to try to know the patient as a, a person, know something about the context of their lives. Try to know just one thing. Know the name of their cat. Know the know like what they where they go fishing. Do something to know this person as an individual. Um, I think uh, Cherie uh, brought up the the, the the term individuating. If you individuate someone, they are a person. Number one, you make a personal connection to that person. Number two, you stop thinking of them as a member of a group, and you think of them as the individual that they are. So this is a, um, a study that was done by um, my partner in crime, um, Mary Catherine Beach, who, um, who looked at uh, a simple, there was a simple questionnaire uh, among all HIV patients in the Johns Hopkins HIV clinic that asked, how well does your provider know you as a person? Does your provider know you as a person? And they could answer yes, no, or I don't know. And basically what she found was that um, people who uh, felt known by their provider as a person were more likely to be taking antiretroviral treatment, were more likely to be completely adherent to their treatment, and had lower viral load. So this is a marker of success of HIV treatment. So not only being known as a person was associated with better clinical outcomes. So this is something that I try to tell like, you know, clinical leadership all the time that this is not fluff. We're talking about like we're talking about biomarkers here. Knowing your patients as people, expressing empathy, um, and negotiating with them is actually part of truly clinically effective care.